I feel like I'm doing Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, it, it sounds it like sounds it. It's very not good. Hey, welcome to <laughs> Sketchy Live Monday. How's everybody doing? Uh, I am Johnny Jalabi with my super talented Billy Gibbons, like <laughs> rocking the my rock, new beanie, rocking the full on rainbow beanie. Loving it. Yeah, you really you dig it. I am so excited. Eddie B. Right. Hey guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, question. <laughs> Which bear is best? <laughs> that would be brown bear. Brown bear. Um, why are you putting episode 200 when my notes show 117? I told you weeks ago when I went through the thing, we're at like 224. That's impossible. It is not impossible. It I is impossible. I counted them. And to be honest, 224 is, there's four episodes Four episodes where we drew not on the computer. So when I went through the totals of all the pictures we've drawn for Sketchy Live, no bonus ones, 200. How have we missed 83? We, there is that's, no way. That's what I'm saying. There is a, You counted wrong. No, Hank, I didn't count wrong. Hank, we Hank, need you. Hank is verified it. How? He went through and counted them as well. He wasted his time. It's not a waste Counting of time. our episodes. Listen. Okay. Well, apparently we're at 200. So I, said 200 I said 200 and something. I think it's like 224, to be honest. I don't think so. We have not done another 100. Here's an two. idea. Don't, no, don't do it. You got your phone. Yeah. Go to the, pa go to the page. No. Go. I, have, I have a job to do. Go ahead. Um, okay, so episode 200. What are you drawing? 200 ish. I don't know. You just labeled it 200. It does it say 200? Yes. It says 200 ish. Two hundreds. Episode two hundred something. Two hundred something. That's what that means. Oh, I did not realize. You're an idiot. <laughs> so. So when somebody goes, "Hey, it's like a hundred and something," you don't go, "Oh, it's a hundred? Can we just settle on this being episode two hundred then, so I know how to no, number these? We are not gonna. No, this is the Christine episode. Oh, I just gave it away. Oh, for crying out loud! For crying in your soup. Christine episode. So this is day 26 on Hot Rodding Tober. Yeah, so day 26, Hot Rodding Tober. You guys have been putting out some prompt. really everybody's, cool yeah, stuff. Everybody's said, hey, do Christine. So I was like, okay, I'll do your Christine for you, but I ain't doing it your way. I'm doing it my way. We'll get to drum, Skipper. Have I mentioned uh, Sketchy Live every Monday night at 9.30 mm -hmm. Eastern? Don't start rolling your eyes already. Did I? We're 10 minutes in. I didn't realize I did that. Y yes, you did. did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gave me the, come on, draw. We got stuff to do still. Okay. So, I just want to say oh, thank you. Oh, you don't want to talk about the merch? Not yet. I want to give a shout out to everybody who joined us Friday night. Right, go ahead. Go ahead and give the shout out. I'll, I'll just merch it up. We had we had a Zoom happy hour on Friday night. Do, 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 free. Look at that. This is a good deal. We did have Zoom happy hour on Friday night. Many, 
Many, many wonderful people showed up. Yeah, it was super fun. It was fun. So we thank you to anyone who joined in on the with Name one. What are you talking about? Who showed up? Spud and Julie were there. We had the McCoys. We had the Randalls. Uh Don't leave anybody out. We had Draco. We had Howard Pierpont. Pierpont. We had uh, your buddy, um, Arlo. Arlo, special guest. Special guest from Wisconsin Talk Radio. Right. Yep. Huh? Cam read. Cam joined us daughter, for a little yep. bit. Huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Lizzie was joining us for a little bit. Uh, and she left early. I no, she didn't. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, she turned her video off. Though, yeah. I think maybe she did. She had she enough. Was, she had she enough was joining stuff. us. She had enough of your stuff. Um, and I think that might have been it. There was hmm. like... Eight. Hey, if you were left out. Eight people. I'm sorry. Don't feel bad. I told her to take notes. We had a great time. Okay. Do your merch so you can start drawing because we're already wasting time. It's been eight minutes. It is my goal (laughs) to make this go as long as possible. As long as possible. Because I know how bad you want me to go short. That's right. I do want you to go short. 27 viewers tuning in to see Christine. So you're going to be doing this um, in... I did do a pre-sketch of it. Okay. And this is Johnny's signature style uh, take on Christine. Signature style. I love that you say Your that. Your sig style. So silly. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, let's get into um, this merch. So, on johnnyjalopy.com, go check it out, guys. Hank has done an amazing job on our website. Um, we have the new sticker pack available now. So, we have oh, you talking two about sticker, sticker pack? packs. Yep. Oh, look two at that. sticker packs. Look at that. You mean. The cool sticker pack. So yes. there's that. We have our original sticker pack. Oh, the original sticker pack. There's that. And then our new sticker pack are the three vehicles that um, Johnny and Ian collaborated on for the show Full Custom Garage. You got the Johnny 5. You got the Space Junkie 2.0. And you got the Funky Futura from, from Ventura. Ventura. And, of course, you've got the Johnny Jalopy logo. The Jalopy Army. Everyone's got to have one of those. Right. And the Eye Guy. The original Eye Guy. The original. And, hey, don't forget... Our new sketchy live shirt, guys. We've had we've had several orders for them. People are digging them. Soup fun. <laughs> um, in addition to this one, though, we have twenty other designs. Something has got to strike your fancy. Pick one up today. Hey, <laughs> if you're in the market <laughs> for a new shirt that's black. <laughs> um, also, we have the hats. Don't forget the hats. We, we do did, have hats. We did roll out a new sketchy speed equipment hat in gray and black, still trucker hat design. So there we go. So Christine's been shrunk down, cut up, chopped, channeled, and turned into a little bit of an old fenderless hot rod. Booyah! Nice. Let me tell you who's on because we've got some viewers That'd here. That'd be kind of cool to see. We've got Draco. We've got the Andersons joining us. Um, Paul Marziani is also watching. Um, Lizzie, there she is. There she is. Julie says, we made it to Monday. I know. Yeah, the weekend um, was busy for me. I had a busy weekend, but it was good. Dad made it in on Sunday, so we're super excited. He's over there watching um, Monday Night Football. Um, Jeff Perry said, Christine, question mark. Yes, indeed, sir. Spud is joining us. Happy Sketchy Monday. Oh, Spud, you'll be... uh I, I took your advice from... Yes. What are you drinking tonight? I'm drinking the Captain Morgan Slice. sliced apple rum. Yeah. With a ginger. With a ginger ale. Oh. Um, I took a sip of it straight, and it tasted like Vicks 44 cough medicine. No way. Yes, it did. My father also sipped it and is still, I think, feeling the effects. It was. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Too much for me. Too much for me. I'm sticking with the wine. Um, Draco said right on time, late as usual. Yeah, we had a little technical difficulties. We did? Yes, we had technical difficulties. Facebook was trying to get me, because they've now changed the uh, Jalopy uh, art page into their new format. Uh And it was trying to get me to start the live there. Mm. And I was like, nah, brah. That would have been a disaster. Well, especially if everybody's accustomed to coming here. Now, I don't know. I would like to try to do one from there once just to see. How many viewers? If there's any any change in viewership, but yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Eric Schinkel is joining us. What's up, Johnny? What's up, Schinkel? Paul Marziani says, Happy Halloween. Thank you, sir. That's true. This is going to be our last episode before, the before Al- Halloween. Before the Halloween. Right. 
Um, Howard Pierpont, 12 degrees in Greeley, Colorado. Eight inches of Speaking snow. Speaking of Howard Pierpont. Howard Pierpont. I don't know if anybody had a sec, because um, I literally just posted the pictures. Um, did a little photo shoot in my new beanie um, from last week's episode. Or no, it wasn't last no, week's episode. It was, it was from Friday night's it uh, was from, happy, yeah, hour, happy Hour. Our Zoom happy hour. The guy heard you Howard talking Pierpont how much you loved his, your had hair. on a cool rainbow beanie. It was really cool. And I was like, rocking it. And he did rock it. And I really hope, Howard, this is not your beanie that you have maintained your own personal beanie because you looked great in your beanie. But he, he packaged one up. And sent it to us. I'm, I'm to me. It's mine. Yeah, I didn't get it. I'm so excited though. I have it on. I love it to death. It's my new favorite beanie. Um, Draco said, "Glad to hear or good to hear. Emmy is doing good. Yes. yes Thanks indeed. everybody for your thoughts and prayers. Granddaughter out of surgery. Yep. Resting comfortably. Doing good. In fact, uh, my daughter was saying she might for something to do since they're going to be stuck in the hospital for a little bit tonight. Uh, she might pop on. Pop on. Oh, great." Perfect. So maybe she can give us an up, a further update. But from what I heard, uh, she was uh, Emerson came out with a doctor. Uh, right. You know, doing great. Yeah. As I super excited. Like I that. believe for knew it was going to happen. Yeah. No doubts. No doubt. Um, Eric Schinkel said ADB talks sports. Really? Yeah, I put that. Did you? Oh, you said you'll give the sports a wrap up. <laughs> Will I? Yeah. Um, well, we watched... Everybody is curious of what the, the Chicago Dodge Rams game is. <laughs> the Dodge Rams. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so funny. No, nothing? Where'd you go? Because I don't remember who played. So it was the... Do oh. No, it was the playing Dodgers. Right. The pl they're playing right now. It was the Chicago... No. Are you seriously trying to figure out who played... The it baseball was, no, game? it was the Dodgers, and it was the L.A. Dodgers, and the Tampa Bay Rays, but then where did I get Dodge Rams from? It was the Rams you were talking about, mm -hmm. your but dad that's was, football. Because your dad was asking who's playing on Monday night, and we said the Rams. You know, is it the Dodge, Dodge Rams? Rams? <laughs> <laughs> but where are the Rams from? Los Cleveland? Angeles. Oh, they are. Oh. Okay. So, because... No. Because There's the no, Dodgers are from Los don't, Angeles. It has nothing to do with Dodgers. You didn't... Dodge No, you Ram. didn't. No, you didn't. Yes, I got confused. <laughs> I got confused. Yeah. The Dodge the Dodge Rams. Um, Julie said, glad everything went well today, PTL. What is PTL? It's like PTO. It's time off. Pay time off. <laughs> oh. PTL is... Praise the Lord. Oh, yes. Okay, Silly good. Goose. That was awesome. Very cool. <laughs> okay. Um, Russ Randall Don't is mind her, Jules. In. I knew what you were doing. I'm sorry, Jules. I didn't I didn't get the acronym. I'm not good with acronyms. Remember, I thought SMH yeah. was smack me hard. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lou Linder Jr. is joining us. Hello, guys. You um, did think that smack I did. me hard. Um, Eric Schinkel said episode 200. Congrats. Thank you, sir. Yeah, but again, 200 and something. Okay. We're celebrating 200 today. <laughs> In the year 2000. Julie is giving a shout out to Eddie's dad. Did you hear that, dad? Oh, yeah. Hi, Julie. He says hi. <laughs> um, Russ Randall. Hello from Russ and Peggy. Thanks What's for joining on, us. What's going on, Randall's? Um, Julie gave a fist bump. Chuck Baldwin is tuning in. Chucky Thanks Bald. I'm um, Britt Boyette. Howdy. I don't know if that's a, that's a very good name. Chucky Bald. Chucky Bald. <laughs> he meant that with love, Chuck. Yeah, um, I, maybe. Yeah. Britt Boyette is joining us tonight from Paulsboro, New Jersey. Cool. Britt, dad, is a truck driver, so he contacts us from all different places. Tonight he's in Paulsboro. Do you know where that is? No. No clue where Paulsboro, New Jersey is. Um, Mama Wood and Tim are tuning in. I love that color commentary, though. Can you tell us where it is? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't involve me, as I previously stated. I am on the couch for a reason. Um, <laughs> did you hear Mom, Mom and Tim are on? Hi, Mom love and you. Tim. Um, Britt said, apparently I like the word tonight. Which word? Bird. Bird. Bird is the word. Could be. Could be the word he's talking about. 
Grandpa Fi is on. He says, be kind. What's up? Indeed, sir. Um, Julie said, trivia question tonight. What episode is it? True story. Yeah, because we really hey, just do not that's know. That's okay. I do know. It's 200 and something. Okay. Jeff Perry said, take my money. Take my money. We will, sir. We will. Hit us up on email. Again, for right now, until we get with Hank and establish um, our shopping cart privileges on the website, we are still taking orders by email. If you go to the website, there is a link to the email on the website, or you can hit us up at Johnny Jalopy LLC at gmail.com uh, to order. If you're going to order a shirt, though, just let me know which one and what size, please, so we can get that order. Yeah, that, that sometimes can be a little it's tricky. Crucial. A little it's tricky. Crucial. Um, we've got Dan Kilbride tuning in. Danny Kill. Murder Wife. Murds. Um, Spud Anderson, 200 ish. Yes, sir. Um, Eric Schinkel wants to know what are we drinking tonight? So we've already said what, what Johnny's drinking. I am finishing up. When did we open that? We opened this wine last night. You just did it just now, boozy. No, I opened it last night with our charcuterie board. Your shit cotteries? <laughs> Shakaka. Right? Um, Jeff Perry said, me, me, me. Spud said, great time last Friday. I, Indeed. I, I. We, had, we had a fun time. <laughs> Um, even though we had to restart three times, because I guess Zoom is no longer letting us do unlimited. Yeah. So we're limited to 40 minutes. Unlimited tuck and text. Whatevs. Whatevs. Okay. Right. Um, Cindy Need, right? What's up, need? Huh? Need? You got it. From Southwest. And then she goes, it's in. Cindy Need, okay? <laughs> How many times did I tell you? Um, Draco said, don't forget Hank. Oh, my God. I did forget Hank. Hank was on the broadcast. Oh, yeah, I yeah, knew yeah, I'd yeah. forget somebody. I don't have everybody in front of me. I'm so sorry. Hank, Hank was actually a pretty um, involved participant of yeah. our Zoom. He was schooling us and yeah, all kinds of different. Yeah, sharing fun facts as yeah. normal and sharing his new creations. I'm so sorry I forgot. Hank, I'm sorry. Um, Cindy, you owe him an Cindy apology. Cindy Mead is from Missouri. 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 Southwest Missouri. Missouri. The McCoys are joining us, Brian and Lisa. Good evening, guys. Lower 70s here waiting for another hurricane to arrive on Brian's yes, birthday. Yes, we saw that. And Wednesday. we were like, do you guys need to come over or something? Hopefully it stays east of us this time. Maurice Strong. We got this. Um, that's right, because they were going to remind us that it was Brian's birthday so we could sing. Oh, that's right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Where are you? I'm sorry. I was in the middle of something here. And you just went off into it. Where are you? What are you doing? Where are we at? Happy Try birthday. Try it again. Start over. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Brian. Wow. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Bump. Bump, 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 bump. Why would you have? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> We're going to have to listen to ladies that. And that probably sounded ladies good. Ladies and gentlemen, the fine stylings of <laughs> Mittens and Steve. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I am Mittens. I'm Steve. And together, together Mittens we're and Mittens Steve. and Steve. Um, Eric Schinkel. Oh, thank you so much. I got my Batmobile. Love the sketch. My daughter is a big Batman fan. Thank you. As Appreciate am you. I. Uh, Jeff Perry said, draw, draw, right? Isn't he doing too much talking already? That's what I'm saying. Russ Randall said, it was fun Friday. Nice to see everyone doing well. Indeed. Indeed. Um, and we do have Cam joining us. Cam, she's reporting from um, the hospital in Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> Everything going well, I am sure. We are so excited to hear Emmy's doing good. So... We will wait further information from you and hope that you'll be going home very soon with her. Um, yes, and we were so again thankful for everybody who prayed on and, and gave threw some their prayers well out there wishes. and positive thoughts and That's everything. Right. Thank you so much for the support. I didn't really want to, I, you know, there's a part of me that doesn't necessarily want to share that kind of stuff going on, but I was like, you know what? We need it. Let's get some. We need the jalopy that, army. That's a, absolutely. That's right. So, thank you guys so much. Yep. For for getting involved and 
and let me share a little bit about what's going on on in, yeah. in our personal stuff. So for sure. Um, Lizzie said she tried to join the show, but her cell was not having it. I'm so sorry. We saw you for like two seconds. Lizzie, no problem. And then you were gone. Good news. Yeah. We'll do it again soon. Yeah. We will. Um, Jeff Perry said, I've seen her. Oh, so when did he see her? First time I seen her sitting on a hill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that a song? I don't know. <laughs> You're doing. You don't want to know it. Okay. Draco said, by the time the commercial is over, it will be my bedtime. I know, right? He needs to draw. I'm drawing. Jeff Perry said, oh my God, I'm in love. Oh, I think Christine. I think he saw Christine. Maybe that's what he's talking about. Already it looks cool. And I'm, you're like zoomed in on the grill right now. And that's all I'm seeing, but it looks cool. Um, Troy Parrott is joining us. Welcome, sir. Um, Dusty Wells is tuning in as well. Um, we've got Ed Lucchesi joining us. Hello, and I'm glad to hear everything went well. Thank you so much, sir. Um, Tony Carter is saying hello. How are you doing? We've got uh, Jimmy Openshaw watching from Tennessee. Well, hello. Bob McLernan from the 51st State, South Jersey. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Brian Kowalczyk is tuning in. What is going on? Draco said a Monday without difficulty would just be wrong. For sure. Yeah. I feel like every time... And it's probably my fault because it really is. If we're honest about it, I, you know, I try really to defer that it's not your fault. But you know, I just I can't bite my tongue enough. I think I anymore. think we need to get. We probably need a better setup with the cameras and stuff, like you said, so that way I, I can control it, not you. And then we'll that be would be time. phenomenal. Right, right. Uh, Michael Williams said, "58 Plymouth, highest tail fins of all." If not second to a 59 Coupe de Ville, appropriately, I had duck soup for dinner. Excellent. <laughs> duck soup. Why is that appropriate? Did they have duck soup in the movie, Christine? I'm not really sure. Okay. But it sounds fun. I've seen Christine. Mm -hmm. And I I know the premise of it. But mm -hmm. yeah, if you're going to quiz me, I am yes. not going to Yes, here's where we get to the fun <laughs> times. We've got Robert DeStefano. Greetings from Wall Township, New Jersey, 71. Is that the exit? Right? That is so Jersey. Could be. Um, Eric Schinkel said, LOL, we can hear when one of y'all gets a text. We didn't get any texts. Hmm. Oh, maybe I did. I think I did. Did you get a text? Nope. I got mine silented. Um, yeah. Dodgers play tomorrow, Eric Schinkel said. Yes, they um, took a night off, actually. <laughs> um, Draco said, Dodge City. <laughs> Gary Fisher's joining us. Good Gary evening. Gary Fisher. Hope you're doing well, he says. Boy, that is a dude I haven't talked to in a goat's tail. <laughs> what is a goat's tail? You never heard that expression? No. Oh, it's really old. How long is a goat's tail? Mm -hmm. Five or six inches. See, it's you. Yeah, it is me. Whoops. Okay. Way to go, Beth. Kim says hi from the hospital room. I guess you are with her in the room. Tell her we said hello. We love you. We love her. Um, Ed Lucchesi said, I drive a Dodge Ram. <laughs> He's laughing. Um, Johnny Hot I drive a, I drive a Dodge Stratus. Right? You have to say it right. I drive a Dodge Stratus. <laughs> Um, Johnny Hot Rod is tuning in. Uh, he what said, up, man? Do the cars from American Graffiti. Soon. They're on the list. They're on the list. Um, Corey Wood said, I'm watching as I draw my Christine version. Cool. Very cool. Uh, Bob McLaren said, I know where Paulsboro is. I guess it's in South Jersey. Um, Paulsboro is near Philadelphia on the Jersey side. Okay. Hmm. okay. Okay. Is that where we stayed? We stayed in Shemokin. Wait. Was it Shemokin? Is that where they lived at? Sheboygan. Mm -hmm. Shemong? <laughs> Shemokin is from The Mask? <laughs> the movie The Mask. No, I think Shemokin is her, is not her street name? Who? Steph. Sh no, I don't think so. I think it is. Shemokin. <laughs> anyway. You were just doing Jim Carrey out of I think it was. <laughs> Uh, Michael Williams said, I was kind of hoping Johnny would draw a 1928 Porter in honor of his mom. Why? I don't know. What? In honor of his mom? A 28 Porter? 
Did she mention she likes that car? I don't. Maybe that was her other car? Uh -uh. She had the Bluebird and then... 57 Chevy yeah. was her, one, her next vehicle. What's the 28 Porter? Tell us. Um, Howard Pierpont said, is Dead Pedal Motors on? Um, he sent me a link today mm -hmm. um, to the podcast, or I guess um, they're trying to start up a podcast and want to know if there'd be an interest in viewing, and I didn't know what it was. Oh. He said he thought that it was somebody on the broadcast, and... Um, I'm waiting now to find out. Well, uh, uh, who said that? Howard sent it to me. Yeah, he sent it to me too. I thought it was that he was going going to be on it. No. Um, or that was his podcast. He said Dead Pedal Matters, a.k.a. Chalk a Bug, thought he was one of the Monday Night group. Oh. So. Well, anybody can be part of it. Yeah, we're going to find out. So, very cool. Um, Jeff Bell is tuning in. Christine, great flick, he says. Um, Jeff Perry said, draw Christine, sing later, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> my son Kevin Klingo is watching um, Kevin as you may know did our intro music for yes, us we, original soundtrack yep. to Sketchy Live super excited very talented boy boy he's a man he's a man now his birthday's coming up happy birthday to Kevin too and we'll be singing to him over the weekend so I won't sing now and butcher it once again but <laughs> you're not gonna torture it one more time no one no. more again um, Jeff Bell said, tell me, tell me, have you sent her? Is that the song you were singing? He put notes after it. I think there's, have you seen her? Tell me, have you, oh. Have you seen her? Maybe. Tell me, have you seen her? I forget who sings it. That was like a new edition or. Britt Boyette said, Mittens and Steve live from the Jalopy Studios. Tip your weight staff. <laughs> yes. Always tip your weight staff. True story. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Mittens and Steve... Um, um, we used to do some touring back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the Garden Cafe at the flea market. We did. Well, uh, that was one of the stops for yep. Mittens and Steve. They really toured all the major flea markets. <laughs> um, doing their best renditions of your classic hits and duets. Sometimes we might do an Islands in the Stream. Maybe. No. I know you were. I saw that. It was like somebody pointing a gun at you. And I was like, oh nope. <laughs> is that thing loaded? Yep. <laughs> Maddie Bones is tuning in. Maddie Bones. Thanks for joining. Um, Jeff Perry said, Stump Itty with the trivia. <laughs> Draco said, In a hen way. Right. Isn't a hen way a car? About 10 pounds. Well, he has hen space way, like the way of a hen. Do you know how much a hen way? Like six to eight, depends. <laughs> Kevin Dickey said, hey, y'all, from the great PNW, which I now know as Pacific Northwest. That is an acronym I learned a couple weeks ago. That you did learn that. You're I pretty, did learn it. Look at me retaining, right? And they said that you couldn't learn. Right? I was incapable. That's you know? what they said, actually. Yes. I didn't want to. Um, Michael Williams said, I'm watching a comedy, Duck Soup, was Marx Brothers movie. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Well, how were we supposed to know that? He said he, he was appropriately eating duck soup for dinner. How was I supposed to know that? Well, that's how are you he, not supposed to know that's what I Was I, I supposed to put, you know me, I can't put two and two together. Or three. Bob McLernan said, Shemong. Yes, that's what the town where they're from. No, that's what Michael Jackson. We've been ja to Shemong. That's what M Michael Jackson says in the middle of songs. Shemong. Shemong. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bell said, "Shamoke him if you got him." <laughs> what are we thinking so far? I think people are digging it. Likes and loves, guys. Likes and loves. You wanted Christine. I think that's a cool version of Christine right there. Come the McCoy on. said, "We named our '65 Fury Christine after the movie. Even when we filmed Cyborg Conquest with her, all the cast and crew called her by her name. So cool." Don't worry, that Cyborg is. Conquest uh, vehicle will be soon okay it okay. is on the list i want to add that to our movie car list sweet being that we know the owners we got to put it on right, there, right? we have to draw it um rafael vw is tuning in Mofongo. Mofongo. um deb nelson's tuning in deb hey deb um 
huge hit with the pumpkin dip. It's pretty much almost Soup gone. Soup good. Yeah. Um, the three of us ate it last night, and then Dad and I dipped into it as a snack today. And uh, like I said, almost gone. Thank you pretty again. Pretty much polished it off. I I'm going to need any. the recipe for how you did it because I want to duplicate it. Yeah, she, she's way. waiting till Wednesday to, to get that so you guys can get... What? Well, you're, you know, you're doing everything on Wednesday. <laughs> We are. All the fun stuff's planned for when Johnny works late. Um, Britt Boyette said 28 Porter was the car featured in the 60s TV show, My Mother the Car. Ah. <laughs> Another play on words. How are we supposed You guys are like over our heads tonight. Um, Kevin Dickey said, what a hot version. Is he talking about the car or my hat? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Lou Linder Jr. said the, the Chi Lights. C-H-I lights mm -hmm. is that uh the band maybe a group that sang the song because i'm a little bit behind on the comments here trying to go oh are, are you having trouble keeping with i'm the not comments? having trouble i'm not having trouble yeah, let's, i'm let's slowing through this careful, just fine careful just fine um bobby theriault is joining us hello bobby. um draco said depends if it's a roaster or a stewing hen this is true this is true oh um bobby and betty page are also um, they're together and checking in together. Well, yeah. Noice. It's, it's Bobby and then Betty Page. They don't share the page. No, Bobby Theriault and Betty Page. Okay, is well, it me you, and see, Betty they, Page? There you go. See? Bob Hollett is saying hi. Thank you, sir. Well, hello. Uh, Michael Williams said, I'm sorry I forgot how young you are. Jerry Van Dyke starred in a TV show, My Mother the Car. Hoped you'd catch the reference. <laughs> Um, sore. I'm sure my dad's probably over there and knew it, but I didn't know it. I'm sorry. You weren't allowed to watch TV, according to you. Now that your dad's here, we can really find out. Well, here's if what's all funny. This is true because you were saying you guys how you weren't allowed, stories. and your dad would. We weren't allowed. He watched what he wanted to watch, and if we didn't want to watch it, we weren't watching anything. Right, Jeopardy. Dad? We only had one TV at the time. Right. And what did we primarily watch, which we also watched tonight together? This is Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to say, Dad, no offense, not as quick as you were alive <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> it's all now pop culture of now. It is pop culture. You were answering lame questions, he was by the way. I was listening to you cheat. How was I cheating? The answer is... Don't be jealous. I knew cranberries. The oh, cranberries. I knew the answer. I knew that. Whatever. Rip Boyette said, Mittens and Steve live at the Lake City, Florida Holiday Inn. Why not a, one night only in the Velvet Room? <laughs> yes, uh, we do take requests. Right. If that request is, please don't sing again. Jeff Perry said, did you see the size of that chicken? Right? <laughs> what movie is that from? I don't know. Young Guns. Call them Young Guns. How, yeah, exactly. How do you not know that, Bon Jovi? My, I am a Jovi fan. Um, I don't know if anyone knows this story, but... <laughs> Here we go. John, John Bon Jovi did say hello to me. Jean Bon Jovi. He did. The French singer. On the seaside boardwalk. Jean Jean Jojo. Um, Raphael VW said, greetings family, I hope you're okay. Wepa Wepa, Mofongo Power. We're doing great, man. Yes, sir. Justin Weir said, good day. Justin the Aussie in Canada here. Oh, and also... Haven't let's... checked in for a while, I missed you guys. Um... I think Speaking it's Australia. funny. It's funny because he starts off with good day, which makes me think he's Australian, but then he has to tell me and remind me that he's from Canada because he's not actually in Australia. Right. However, speaking of Australia. That's right. Babe, can you draw and share? Go ahead. Okay. We, we got some cool goodies. We got a care package from Super. Peter Stewart. Peter Stewart killed it with the care package. From Australia. We have we have actual Vegemite. Oh, you mean the vitamin pills? I thought it was vitamin pills because it said it was packed with B vitamin. Yeah, so not. that turned into a 20-minute argument of me going, <laughs> it's a paste. It clearly says they're vitamins. I'm like, this little jar is a paste. They put it, they put it on toast and stuff. Why would they put pills on a toast? It's mm. a spread. It's a spread. It is. Oh, it's a spread, isn't it? You know what it. You know what it reminds me of the little jars of base that I get, like vegetable base, chicken base, beef base, or Nutella, like the same size jar. Um, Nutella is 100 percent better Gross. smelling. Better smelling. You like Nutella? We I have don't Nutella. Like Nutella. 
Vegemite. Um, I'm going to say. Super good, man. Not for everyone. Did you eat it? Oh, dude, it was so good. You didn't eat it. Bro. You did not eat it. It was good. You didn't eat Why it. Why wouldn't you eat it? <laughs> he didn't eat it yet. I did too. On um, what? Toast. We don't even have bread. You're I, lying. The English muffins. Hello. We both. <laughs> I had it on crackers. Oh, because I got a plethora uh, of crackers. He sent us crackers of all kinds. Crackers. Um, he sent us this really cool cookie jar. It was a oh, Volkswagen. So cool. A Volkswagen glass cookie jar that broke. It wound up breaking. Yeah, I feel so Thanks, bad. post office. I know. Um, Posties. And that had cookies in it. So we have cookies. We have crackers. We have Vegemite. He sent us T-shirts. He sent us. What else did he send? Did he send stickers? There was something else in there. Here's what I thought was really cool. What? He sent t-shirts extra large. Because they were for me. Because I sound thin. Oh, <laughs> to you. <laughs> yeah. Why are you laughing so hard? That's not funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Howard Pierpont said it, um, you pronounce it shy lights. Have you heard of them? Oh, yeah. It sounds like a three-woman harmonizing band. They're good. The shy lights. The shy lights. Maybe. They open with the sniff, snip, mittens, mittens and <laughs> sniffins, Steve. Sniffins and Steve. Stif that was my third band. That actually, you are more sniffins than you are mittens. Shut Steve. up. <laughs> uh, Draco said Bobby Page, famous male pinup. Right. <laughs> True story. Um, Jeff Perry said, good job, Johnny. So he's digging it so far. Um, Britt Boyette said, doesn't the idler... Pulley on the blower go on outside of the belt. You might be right, dude. He probably is. I mean, he is a trucker, so he knows this kind of stuff. This is a custom one? Yeah. Because there's a lot of problems in in town. It's a possessed car, you know? It, it does, is. It plays by its She's own She's got rules. a mind of her own. Yeah, this is like the equivalent of a woman wearing a tube top. Tube top. Yep. Tube, yep. Got a little tuby tuby. Uh, Jeff Perry said inside, like on the drag you are on roadkill. Is that something you're aware of? Yeah. Okay. Lou Linder Jr. said shy lights, short for Chicago lights, saying, have you seen her? Yeah, the shy oh, lights, okay. baby. Everybody knows that. Okay. Okay. God. Oh, Rafael uh, said Mia said hi. His daughter Mia. Well, hello. How are hello. you? Hola. Como esta? Uh, Justin Weir said Vegemite is the best. Try it on a crumpet with butter. What is a crumpet? It's a, it's a little bit smaller than a trumpet. And you, you blow into the reverse side. I want to say my dad used to get us jelly crumpets. Didn't we used to get jelly crumpets? Crimpets. Crimpet? Crimpet? <laughs> it's not even the same <laughs> jelly crimpets it's didn't we get we were english my dad always bought us crumpets what's a crumpet justin what is a crumpet and how do we get our hands on one and is that really going to make it taste any better than it smells i need to know you don't even know how good it is we have estefania eldridge tuning in hola do we know her mamacita we do know her she's amazing <laughs> jk um, Michael Williams said better on a strumpet. That's what I heard. Can you eat it with a crimpet? Um, Draco said the rear tire is covering up the sexy fin. No, it's not. No, oh, maybe he hasn't. The drunk. fin's right there. Um, Micah Clay Camp is joining us from Micah Doodles. Um, he said, Johnny, can you believe Hot Rod Inktober is almost over? I cannot believe it. Not to mention, I haven't really got many done you this really year. You really haven't. You've been such a slacker. Well, you know, the honey-do list really honey cuts do into it. Honey-do what? Mm -hmm. You haven't done crap around Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brit Boya said it's all good. It still looks bitchin'. Okay. So he's not expecting you to change it? Uh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Likes and loves, guys, if you're digging this one. I think it looks pretty cool. Now, what color? She was red, right? Red. Okay, so you're going to do it red? Of course. Okay. Okay. Maybe. It looks very hot, Roddish. Are you going to do maybe a, give her like a little She did catch glitter? on fire. A little glitter. Yeah? A little glitter. Glit. A little glit. Who does glitter? Glitter on. Are you talking about flake? Yes. But because she's a woman, I said glitter. Mm. A man would call it yeah. flake. Yeah. Mm hmm That's okay. 
Um, what are you doing over there? Get off your phone. I you're, know. you're working. I'm telling people who are texting me that I need a minute. Tell your whoever that guy is that you're busy. Um, Britt said Vegemite will never replace peanut butter. Peanut butter is good. Peanut butter is good. Steph says hi, Pop. <laughs> he says hi. Um, Jeff Perry said it has to be blood red. It'll be blood it'll, fire. It'll be red. Why are you doing an accent? I don't know. Draco said, okay, not completely covering it, but the fins are the highlight. Not to be confused with the shy light. <laughs> I don't know if it's really the highlight. <laughs> oh, okay. So, again, Johnny's rendition. We don't always have to agree with it. Mm -hmm. This is just what he, what he does. It's in me brain. Anthony Medina said, Tootsie to brown. Tootsie roll to brown. Tootsie roll brown. Is that what color? What Could color? Why are you asking me? I'm asking what color the car was. It was red. It was red. red. It was red. Uh, Michael Williams said to Justin, sorry I often push my jokes too far, often badly, but not with not with envy ad intent. Maybe bad intent? I don't know. Um, Draco said blasphemy. Bob McClernand said had bourbon peach bread pudding tonight. Yum. Oh. I could do that. That I could do. Eat it or... Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not making it. I'll clearly. eat it. Justin Weir said, I just looked it up and crumpets are only eaten in the UK, Canada, and Australia. You lovely Americans are missing out. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> we could probably order them and have them shipped here. And or if somebody wants to send us a care package. If somebody wants to send us a care package with crumpets. We'll take it. <laughs> we will. We'll hold on to the Vegemite. <laughs> I smelled it. I didn't eat it on anything. And maybe it doesn't smell good, but maybe it tastes better. I expected it to be not so savory. First of all, you expected it to be a pill. I did. I know. <laughs> so let's really break it down for what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So in this whole idea of what you thought it was, it was completely different than what you thought it was. Gabby? True. And the only reference that I even have... Is the Men at Work song. <laughs> I come from the land down under. Right. Which something, has... something, and something thunder. Mm-hmm. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then at one point, we, uh, he said... We <laughs> are experiencing technical difficulties here. Was it you? <laughs> yeah. And then... Someone's got the poopies. <laughs> Hockey season's not is <laughs> over. <laughs> Celebrating the thunder. That's his way of participating. <laughs> I won't be on the show, but I'll shit my pants from the couch. <laughs> oh my god! Here's what I think of the show so far. <laughs> oh my god! Take two. Oh. Ah. Uh. Anyway, I was saying the Vegemite sandwich. <laughs> Speaking of veggie shit sandwich. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, jeepers. Oh, Shaggy LeBlanc is joining us. Shaggy LeBlanc. Welcome, Shaggy. Shaggy LeBlanc. Um, Britt Boyette said the original was red with a white roof and a gold insert in the crumb side spear. Uh -huh, Pretty uh -huh. detailed. Okay. Um, Jeff Perry said I love the Shannon caps. I like the Jennifer caps. I don't know. What's a Shannon cap? It's a mix between Larry and Curly. No. What's a Shannon cap? It could See, at this point, it could be like a mushroom. It could be... <laughs> <laughs> it could be a car part. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Drago said to Shaggy, Hello, mate. <laughs> he spelled it out like that. <laughs> um, Steph said it's looking awesome, and then she's laughing at Pop's con contribution to the broadcast. <laughs> that is. <please. laughs> oh, my goodness. It just slipped. Uh, the McCoy said, Lucky this isn't smell a vision. <laughs> you are lucky. <laughs> well, because normally it's me. That's true. It is true. Just wanted um, to keep it in the family. Right? Gosh, you guys. <clears throat> um, FYI to anybody who's ordered anything, we are filling those orders this week and they will be mailed out. Sorry for any delay. We had a couple things come up. So, What were the couple things? We will be... 
I don't think people need to know all the details. The honeydews? Hmm. Possibly. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Um, but those things will be going out this week. So they will. I'm, I apologize. We do apologize greatly. Hey, we mentioned that. Uh, hmm? Have we mentioned this? A what? Bit? The JohnnyJalopy.com? Yeah. Check it out, guys. Hey, how much is this print, by the way? This print is only 15 bucks. When you're watching us uh, on Sketchy Live on Monday nights, those prints are 15 What bucks. do you think, huh? She's looking <clears throat> pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Uh, Brit Boy has said, it's like caps lock. You can yell with actually yelling. <laughs> Without actually yelling? Yes, you can yell. Um, <clears throat> Hank has done so much great work on this johnnyjalopy.com website, yes, guys. He has. Go check it out. He's actually, there's a banner running up at the top. I don't know if it's really a banner, but it's a series of photos of the last several weeks it's of sketching. It's a sketchy. series of incriminating I don't know evidence. What, I don't know what the actual term is for it. Um, but yeah. So the last several weeks. Well, that's weeks never are stopped you there. from saying something. I know. The last several weeks are up there. Um, also, Johnny has updated his Facebook page and the album for Sketchy. So um, most of those designs are now included, right? You added some mm -hmm. new ones. All of it's in there. So all of it's in there. Um, all 200-something well, designs. Well, all of designs. it, but the, uh, I still got to mm -hmm. get the... Um, lost episode? Uh, no, not the lost episodes. I've got to get all the hand-drawn uh, episodes. When you say hand-drawn, we were still filming it. Correct. It was drawn by my hand on paper. Right. But there's What does filming still, got to do with it? Because there still should be a show revolving How would you it. have a photo or a copy of that drawing? You would have posted it when you were done. We didn't. First of all, we... I know. We don't do shit. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. There you have it, folks. So glad to be a part of it tonight. Listen, it's your show. <laughs> Lizzie said it's looking sweet. Chris Honeyfield is joining us. Blessings to your recovering family member. Thank you, sir. Thanks She's so much. doing well. She's doing great. Little baby girl. Uh, Draco said, you know, with the wheels outside of the fenders, this is like the Metropolitan's big sister. Hmm. Huh. Perhaps. Because the Metropolitan was the only one ever to do it. Oh, thanks. The wheels do look exceptionally large. They are large. Yeah. What size? Twenty fours, twenty sixes. On porpoise. Oh. They're on a porpoise. What? What would be the equivalent? Eighteens, twenty twos, twenty twos. Fifteens. Car's oh, just still? very channeled. Oh. Okay. And sectioned. True, and I don't know all the details regarding that. Although I do know that we were supposed to do that on our car, weren't we? What's that? We were going to be um, channeling it. And making it a two door. Remember Raquel? Didn't you talk about chopping it and channeling it? I would love to do both in section it as well. Now, what would sectioning it be? Slicing it this way, right down the side, oh. and dropping it this way, making the body even smaller. Oh, so then chopping it is just the so top. If you look, so like if you from look the at windshield. so if you look at like for instance <clears throat> this piece that's in that the center, line, right? right? You would cut the body. Let's say we just cut it right down that way, right? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, we cut here and we cut there. So we took that piece out and then dropped those Melder. pieces together. That lowers the body down. So that's sectioning it, mm -hmm. channeling it. No, dropping. Channeling, channeling would chopping be chopping it. Chopping it would be just the, the window area that's coming the, down. The windshield okay. and the and the roof line. Yeah. Okay, so I just learned and sectioning. Then, and then channeling it would be. Most of those cars had frames, so that's actually dropping the bot, the frame up into the car. Oh. Okay. So it gives a lower appearance, even though you really haven't done much to like the ride height, other than the inside of the car is much smaller. Right. So you're losing inside space. Okay. So you'd see a lot of. Okay. You'd see a lot of uh, like you know thirty twos. <clears throat> they might channel it. Which will drop the whole body of the car really low to the ground, but even though the suspension hasn't really been messed with. Hmm. Lots of things you can do manipulating metal, huh? And then they'll do stuff like they'll pancake the the hood, <clears throat> and that's where they take a section out of it, and they'll actually so some like on Raquel, you know how it really is bulbous yeah. in the front. 
bulbous. And they'll what they'll do is they'll cut a section out of that, like a two or three inch piece of steel out of it, and it'll drop that nose down so it's not so Up protruding. Um, the McCoy said they're large and in charge and looking for chickies, the wheels. Draco said in shaving and Frenching it sounds dirty. <laughs> Jeff Perry said, not if you're showering. <laughs> I know what Frenching is. Do you? Um, the, it's the lights. It's insetting the lights. Well, it's not just lights. You can French other things. That's true. Uh, shaving. Oh, I know. Be, it's true. Shaving would be getting rid of the door handles and accessories outside of the body line. Okay. Yeah. Right? You might shave a door handle, which means you're removing the door right. handle completely. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, so you're not removing it completely. You are removing it completely. From the outside, but there's still a way to use a door handle. There's no handle anymore. Wouldn't it be? No. It's so gone. how are you getting in? Put poppers. Oh. Were you just going to push against it? No. Like a cabinet? It's a little button in, in the inner fender. Push it and it pop, ah. pops the door open. Okay. 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 Um, John. <laughs> you're adorable. Why? Because you're just so... You're adorable. Am I? Yeah. Now I'm adorable. Um, John Chafin's joining us. He says, hello. Hey. Um, Chris Honeyfield said, needs a periscope. <laughs> Jeff Perry said, just don't shave a navel. Why are you <laughs> silence all of a sudden? Maybe I turned a little red. Um, Draco said, listen at the Itypedia of auto terms. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Dot com. Sorry, guys. I don't know my way around a car 100%. So. Why is that? There's that. Because I'm not, I'm not that way. I know, I know little bits. I know little bits. It was like our third going away date. You're We'd showing, been, you've shown interest lately. <clears throat> we've been, we've been together for just a couple months. So you took me to this hotel Hey, whoa. <laughs> we were we were going away for the weekend. We were walking through the parking lot and you were quizzing me on vehicles. Now, I have an insurance background. I've been an insurance agent for 32 years. Oh, here we go. So I know if somebody says Avalon, I know it's a Toyota. If somebody says Sienna, I know what that is. I I know like the the, the make and model parts of cars like today and probably even back then no you don't but to look at it i I love the fact that you will in your insurance agency sometimes you'll go hey this guy's trying to get me to insure this car <laughs> well because sometimes like i just had somebody say we bought a 1999 um old no what was it Runabout? No. What was it? It was a Subaru. A Manglore. It was like a Subaru Legacy. A Manglore. A 1999, and she wanted to put it on her Grundy policy. I said, I can't insure. It's it's like maybe worth a thousand. She spent like a thousand dollars on it. It has 230,000 miles on it. I'm like, no, I can't put that on Grundy. <clears throat> In any case. In the Grundy County auction? No. So I, um, I know those things, but I can't look at a car and know what it is. Like he could see, we could be in the blackest night and he sees headlights coming at us and he knows that's a Mustang. And he can even like tell me the year just from headlights in the dark heading towards us at 50 miles an hour. Like that, I, that I don't get. What I have mean? to. You don't get it. <clears throat> I don't get how you know. Because I, I, I remember the shapes. I guess. I, I'm not, there is no I guess. I'm telling you, I remember the shapes. I guess that's what it is. I don't that's, know. No, that is what it is. I don't know. I'm telling you what it is. I'm just saying. I don't believe it. I think they're lucky guesses. I don't know. You think that, what? You think I'm guessing. <clears throat> You're not guessing because every time it's right. So he has that. I've got, I've got the make and models down. And probably more so on the newer stuff, because some of the new cars you don't, you're not 100% in knowledge of, I would think. Okay. I would say. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Probably not. Probably not. In the, in the purest of automotive <clears throat> knowledge, you clearly are the winner. I'm not saying I'm the winner. I'm just saying. What are you this saying? This is not a contest. I think we both hold our own. I don't think we both do. <laughs> 
<laughs> Michael Williams said, "If I had if I had money, I'd build the metro. Narrowing the Plymouth might be fine or fun, also." Yeah. Um, Jeff Perry said, "I was in the insurance salvage industry for over twenty years." Nice. Uh, Russ Randall said, "1985 Oldsmo Buick." <laughs> True. The mashup. Uh, Draco said, four headlights coming at you with flames all over it would be Christine. Yeah. Well, I'm clearly seeing that now. We are time-wise at 54 minutes, 29 seconds. Okay. Where is Hank? I haven't seen him on. He's probably mad because I forgot that he was on the Zoom. And I didn't forget that he was on the Zoom. I just didn't have everybody's name written down. And I was just going through where everybody was in placement. We literally... This sounds like a lot of excuses. We literally stopped and started three times. So... Sound like a lot Hank, of, don't a be mad. We know excuses. you know we love you. Hank and his amazing creations. Oh, now she now you're sucking up. I'm not sucking up. I told him his stuff was amazing. And he just came out with some new cool Halloween stuff too. Go check it out. Today. <laughs> if you dare. I love the um, black and white shading you're doing. Thanks. Draco said, which means you forgot him. I did not forget. That's what I think. I missed I missed Lizzie too. I know. Julie said Hank probably has stuff to do. He probably does because he he's, doesn't. He's what are you talking about? He's always busy. Nah. He's always busy doing something, creating something. He's just worth looking at. Hiding in the wings. No, he's not. Ready to attack. Attack with what? Fury. Actually, he's probably working on his Halloween costume with a vengeance. A uh, Jeff Johnston is joining us. Hello from Canada. Hey. Did you say hey or did you say a? I said hey. Oh my god! Did, did everyone hear him? Because I want to make sure that I don't offend anyone. He said a. Unbeknownst I like you. I it. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> we slowing down over there? Who? You? No, I'm just. That's that's it on comments. Likes and oh, loves, guys. If you're digging where this one's going, no one's commenting. Man. We've still got like 30, 31 viewers at the moment. Oh, there we go. There's a count. I haven't heard a count in, mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. the ages. Mm, yeah, Julie wants to know what people are doing for Halloween. Um, I know some places are still shut down, and uh, there's probably some rules against it. We heard a lot of people doing trunk or treat type things. Um, honestly, last year for Halloween was a huge bust in Busted. our neighborhood. We got a ton of candy and Tons. we sat outside, got eaten dressed by up. mosquitoes. We were dressed up and nothing. Two. Do we have any? I think the people, the kids next door came over. You're right. That's it. And then we had to eat all of the candy ourselves, which was not good. So I, I don't think I might get one bag. I don't even think we're going to have anybody come through. So we'll get whatever everybody likes and... Uh, We'll wind up eating it again this year. Um, let's see. Julie said, okay, yeah. Um, Draco said, you, you hoid it. Yep. The McCoy said, did anyone set um, DCCF's alarm clock in France for 3.30? I haven't seen DCCF oh, yeah. sign in yet. Maybe he did oversleep. I do feel, I do feel bad. Maybe he took the day off and he just wanted to sleep in. I don't know. Maybe he's just watching something better than this. Possibly. Britt's got to go. He said, got to call it a night. See you next time. Be safe out there on the roads, Britt. We appreciate what you do. Um, Jeff Perry said, candy at Johnny and Itty B's house. For right. Sure. Come for on sure. Over. We need to do a Halloween party one of these years. Yeah, you do. We'll just have some peeps over. We'll do like a little open house or something. So you can play your favorite Halloween song? Monster Mash. Right. It's my fave. Actually, we had a look at it. I couldn't, I couldn't for the life of me remember. And I listened yeah, you to were the calling Halloween it, station. You were calling it Munster Go Home. No. And then you were calling it Munsty, Munsty. I knew it was Monster Mash. But then I was like, what other, what other songs? And like Thriller came up. And I always feel like Somebody's Watching Me came up. And uh, You always feel like someone's watching you? Bat out of hell because it's a bat. Dumb. I know. It's a reach. Meatloaf anything. Ed Rhodes is tuning in. Hey, Johnny and B. Sorry, I'm just getting here. Better late than never. Looks awesome. We appreciate you. Um, Lamoris yeah. Harris. Looks there good, go. man. He said, got something on the tablet. Got to mm -hmm. run. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, man. But he said, good job. Um, Jeff Perry said, karaoke Halloween party night. That would be <laughs> fun, right? 
I'm down for karaoke. You're always down. I am down for karaoke at any given moment. I love to sing. I don't know where I get it from. My dad used to sing, though. He used to just whistle a tune throughout the house growing up. Um, Draco said, check out the Small Town Titans version of Monster Mash. Small Town's Titan. That sounds like a cartoon. It does, doesn't it? Yep. Um, this is looking pretty sick, babe. I like it. Definitely way different than the original version. That blower is insane. But it looks cool. Looks like it's ready for the uh, drag races, actually. Russ Randall said combo Halloween party slash car sectioning slash chopping session. Yes, please. There you go. Slash happy hour Zoom. Look at that. <laughs> Um, Jeff Perry said, your dad's there tonight. Yes, he is. He is over watching the game, I believe. With no volume, because Possibly Diddy B's snoozing. I'm, I'm not seeing open eyes at the moment. So he might have fallen. We lull him to sleep. It's my voice. It's a lull. It's my voice. It's a lull. It's always had this effect on him. Usually just tunes me out. <laughs> him too, huh? Yeah. Uh, Micah said, got to run, guys. Got to finish drawing a Mustang. Drawing looks great. Stay safe. Thank you, you sir. Too, Same to you out there in Colorado. Um, Draco said, and charcuterie party. This is true. We do like a good charcuterie. <laughs> I don't even know what it must be Italian for. You think it's Italian? Meat and cheese. You think it's Fran mm -hmm. French? I think it's French. Let's see. We want to know what the origin, let's see, what is the origin of charcuterie? Oh, it is. French words for, ah! for flesh and cooked. Wow. Yikes. It's, um. Somebody smart. Um, charcuterie is actually, what mm -hmm. do you call it? Yeah. Soylent green. No, it's not. It says it's derived from the French words for flesh and cooked yeah you're eating meat flesh cooked of an animal flesh. cured and cooked it's cannibalism the word was used to describe shops in the 15th century france that sold products that were made from pork including the pig's internal organs mm -hmm. please don't lose your appetite Yum, <laughs> yummy <laughs> yummy for me um right so, yeah. So, there you have it, guys. You heard it here first. Charcuterie. <laughs> I don't think they have it here first. Are, if you're sure wondering. Oh, Jeff Perry said sleeping, so no duet tonight. No, you won't be hearing from him. He is out like a light. Um, everybody is signing out and signing back in, so I'm hoping we're not having an issue with the broadcast. Is everybody hearing us, and can everybody see us, or was there an interruption? Um, Russ thought it was... Car cuttery. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be having a charcuterie and a car cuttery at the same time. Um, Draco said charcuterie is for kids who grew up on Lunchables. That's true. It's true. It is the adult I never, Lunchable. I never had a Lunchable. You never did? Never even had one. I used to get them for my kids for school all the time. I would send them. I know. Lunchable. And I'd be like, why are you spending all that money? They were a dollar. <laughs> they weren't a dollar. Yes, they were. They were a dollar. They were one dollar, and it was crackers and cheese. And the only reason why they even would eat that Cause you're... is because it came with a Snickers. They came with Snickers. Yeah, I didn't get any Snickers. Then. They had a, one with M and M's in it. They had what? Raisins in it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's bull. They have um like NutriBalance ones now. What? Where you get almonds and cheese and dried Dumb. cranberries. It's good stuff. No kid wants good that. Stuff. Hey, while you're driving. In a cool car like this, you too can enjoy an adult Lunchable charcuterie. I like to include a little bit of everything on the charcuterie. We've got some meats. Meats for the belly. The belly for meats. We've got some cheese. We've got some nuts. We've got some fruits. And some candy. <laughs> really losing it for content. I know. <laughs> <laughs> got you got nothing. Well, I will say this. Well, um, it was twelve years ago this year, oh around this time of year. Oh, this is not going to be good. That we took Raquel out for her first Halloween ride. Do you remember? Mm, of remember course, I remember. 
it was Halloween night. Mm -hmm. Kids had already gone trick or treating, Mm -hmm. and they were laid to bed. Laid to rest. Laid to rest in their beds, (laughs) chucked away, candy locked up. Um, And Johnny took me out. You were mean, too. You locked up their candy like they didn't get it. Because they would eat it. I went through it all. That's the point. I went through it all, and then I had to supervise all trades to make sure that they were... Well, that was one thing your kids did, and I was like, gee, come on. I will see your two Milky Ways and raise you a all I know is, All I know is it was ridiculous. they always... Cassidy always got messed over. She was the littlest. She really shouldn't have had candy to begin with. She what do you mean? She should have had the only one with candy. She was too little. Yeah, Dylan somehow used to... Um, Get everyone's candy. I know. You don't want that one. Right. That one's dumb. Yeah, these, these are gross. We have these. These are really stupid. You don't yeah. want these. And then after they'd go to bed, I would take what I wanted. <laughs> Store it away in a secret hiding place. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we went out um, in Raquel. It was, we had just weeks prior to that gotten her. And we went out for this voyage on Halloween night. And broke down in front of a funeral home. As they're bringing the dude in. Yeah. It was creepy. Remember that? It was crazy. And then they're like, you guys need some help? That's a cool car. And we're like, (laughs) we're good. Hands off. We've seen what you've done. Listen, pal. Get get your damn hands Hands off off her. (laughs) So, um, yeah, we, we walked for miles to a Walmart to get a, um, uh, it was a magnet. Yes, because I had uh, dropped a nut. dropped a screw into oh, the. Screw. Well, it was a nut. Yeah, you're right. Into the um, into the carburetor. Mm-hmm. Um, that was whoops. That was the night I was trying Johnny's patience because I was holding the flashlight. You were definitely. Um. This is when I realized I am not a good flashlight holder. You're you're okay. I've grown, I think. I'm better now. Leaves and bounds. <laughs> I'm better now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was um, that was a night in the books for sure. I think that you said uh, that was the turning point for your relationship goals with me. Well, why was that? What was the turning point? Because I endured. I had patience. I stuck with you. You walked many, many a mile. You carried my purse. And stupid... And stupid Stupid high heel boots. I want high heel boots, like Frankenstein high heel boots. They were not. They were huge. Those like, were the same. They boots. were like Gene Simmons. Yeah, I know. Same boots that, that crumbled broke. beneath yeah. my and then feet. I, and then suddenly I, I repaired them <laughs> with my hands. And then they broke when we went to Chicago. And then I finally threw them out. Remember? Yeah, but they didn't break though. They were broken. Whatever. They were compromised. Um, but that was our. That was that was Rock Hill. Hey, can you pull up a quick picture of Christine? I'm, I'm trying. I can't remember the um, if the side part is white or if it's chrome. Christine, the movie. Totally uh, brain farting right now. Christine is a 1983 yes, movie we directed know. by John Carpenter, starring. Starring. What do you need? A side shot? Yeah, that'd be great. Looks white to me, but. Can you get a shittier picture? I could try. Okay, yeah. Thanks. I could try. All Google, are... do you have any really low res pictures of Christine <laughs> that I can blow up really big? Oh, so you get the model of it? Oh. How about a real car? How about you look it up yourself? I the phone is the one doing it. <laughs> There we go. Um, Jeff Perry said, all good here. Okay, as far as the broadcast goes. Um, Jeff Perry said, whatever happened to calling it a party tray? Paul Marziani said, Reese's Cups. We should have put those on there. I didn't even think of that. Um, Jeff Perry said, I dropped a nut once or twice. Oh, crying out loud, sir. Um, Bill Martin is tuning in. What? Our resident um, guitar player and super singer. Yes. He's amazing. Yep. How Um, are we doing? Shaggy the Blanc said, oh, not the flashlight holder. Those jobs. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was and remain to be. 
Um, Jeff Harry said, my wife hates holding the flashlight. This is true. I, you know what? It's, it's a job that I think we sign up for when we sign the marriage license, not realizing um, the almost divorce it causes. That's not true. You've gotten pretty upset with me. Well, why is, what is the problem? Because I feel part of it when I'm holding the light and then I want to know what's going on. So I shine it where I need to see, not where you need to see. And this, that's this is, why it's a problem. This is true. And that's why it's a problem. Right. So you know the error of your ways. Uh, yeah. So what do you got to do to fix it? <sighs> not pay attention. And like, if you don't want me to be engaged, <laughs> be engaged, if you don't want me to be engaged, then I'll just hold the light on you. Shine your light. <laughs> Turn your lights on. Um, Draco said, where's Buddy Ripperton? Who's that? Do you know who Buddy Ripperton is? No. Oh, who's Buddy Ripperton? Um, Jeff Weller's tuning in. He says, badass as usual. Love the big engine. Um, Frank Popello's joining us. Awesome. Jeff Perry said, you guys have dirty minds. It was a nut in a carburetor. LOL. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was because you laughed after it. Listen, pal, we know your scams. Um, Lou Linder Jr. said with Minnie. Uh, Jason uh, Michaelius said, hi all, Jason Michaelius is checking in. Oh. Jason, I read your name before I read what you wrote, but he wrote, hi all, Jason Mika hyphen Lee hyphen is is checking in from Long Island. <laughs> so I didn't mispronounce it. That's so funny. Jeff Perry. It's said, like he knows you. I know. <laughs> Jeff Perry said the Camaro dude. Um, Justin Weir said, my 17-year-old son, Lewis, is a fan of the Christine movie. I just called him in to see your drawing. Words like sick and cool came spilling out of his oh, mouth. Oh, thanks, buddy. That's neat. And then Draco said, Christine fans, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. I'm just reiterating what he said. 37 viewers still tuning in to see how this one turns out. Well, at least we got 37. So far, so good. Um, did you spit on your screen? Because I'm seeing a little Probably dark. happens. Okay. It's all part of the program. Just checking. It's all part of the program. Um, Ed Rhodes said, I used to hold the flashlight for my dad. I learned how not to hold the flashlight by watching my older brother do it. And get punched um, in the face. I don't think I did a lot of flashlight holding for my dad. It was usually my brothers out there with them. Um, I do remember being asked to pick up dog poop. Um, <laughs> and I remember one time he asked me to clean out the fireplace. But other than that... I think I was in the kitchen with mom. I don't think I was doing a lot of... Were you in the kitchen with Dinah? No. I was in the kitchen with Susan. Um, we didn't We didn't do a lot of... Were you stumbling on the old banjo? I do remember um, one of the highlights of my uh, early relationship with dad was when he took me to the father-daughter square dance. <laughs> do you remember dad? <laughs> no. You don't remember? Dance. You don't remember being forced to take her? Karen and Dennis were there with us. I don't even, I don't know whether it was for school or for Girl Scouts or it's, whatever. Uh, you guys were probably on vacation. That one picture you found where you guys he, were at a, like a dude ranch. No, that was something different. <laughs> that was something different. That was Malibu Ranch. We had a good time there. Um, this was, this was a father-daughter square dance. Why would there be a father-daughter square dance out of the blue? I was in a group of some sort. I, I want to say it was Girl Scouts. I'll have to ask Karen. She'll remember. Um, we did that. Then there was the time that my dad um, won me. Well, he didn't win it. He wound up just paying the money to buy it. My Cabbage Patch Kid on the boardwalk, because he probably spent like $80 trying to win it on, on one of the stands, one of the wheel stands. And he didn't win it. So he brought me home my Cabbage Patch Kid. When everybody else had them and I wanted one because I didn't have one. I want a cabbage patch too, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Violet, you're turning violet. <laughs> <laughs> but I want it now. That was very bad. She mm -hmm. wanted it now. Mm. Everyone else has a cabbage patch, Daddy. <laughs> I want a cabbage patch too. Jeff Perry All right, Brooke, I have no problem. We'll get you on. <laughs> I don't remember those words coming out of his mouth, actually. Mm -hmm. He surprised me with it. He surprised me with it, and then he told me, 
You don't even want to know what I went through to get this damn doll. <laughs> he wasn't happy about it. I think he I think he might have actually tossed it at me when he came home. I wasn't there you sure. go, pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Russ Randall said, looking awesome. Any plans for a new broadcast of the 51? Yeah, well, we hope to. Yeah. We still got to get Dan Kilbride, which now that the, um, now that it's going to get darker sooner, he'll probably be available on Thursdays. So I think Maybe, they stopped right? doing Thursdays or was it Thursdays? Uh, yeah, I think it was Thursday yeah, nights was, at yeah. the causeway. So we'll probably get Dan on, um, Art still has a ton of stories that he wants to share with us. We were talking about doing um, a Zoom or some kind of video and video thing with Gary Fisher and getting him on. We definitely got to get Gary Fisher on. Yeah. So we will. We will definitely. Yeah. Um, Jeff Weller said, I'm just, oh, I'm just wondering if you were to erase it all when you're done, would she draw herself back? Probably. Probably. Man. That's how creepy. She's a spooky. Yeah. Hank says, because you can't do a circle dance. Because you said, why would you do a square dance? <laughs> there he is. Hey, Hank. There he Thank is. Thanks for joining us. Um, Jeff Perry said, I found Hank. Yes, you did. Um, Paul Marziani said, Veruca Salt. Veruca is a foot wart. What? Is that what they called her? I don't, I don't know. We just watched the movie. I don't remember them saying that. Uh, Frank Pupello said, are those uh, genuine Fury Stone tires? Instead of Firestone, Fury Stone. <laughs> They could be. They could be. This is looking good. Are you at Are you at Chrome? Are you doing Chrome? Yeah, we're close. Wow. Dude, you are at an hour and 15. Way to keep it under two. Really? Yeah. Okay. That doesn't give you free license to spend another half hour on it, but... <laughs> free license. Saying, free license. Doesn't give you free license. What does that even mean? Well, when you say the, the thing right... Well, it's not free license? It's not free license. What is it? Doesn't give you free rain. Free rain? Mm hmm. What's the license one? People say No one says right license. I'm looking it up because I think you're wrong. Free well, license. Well, that wouldn't be the first time. Free license. A free license or open license is a license agreement which contains yeah, provisions there you go. that allow other individuals to reuse another creator's work. That's free license. Yep. As I said. As I said, what is what is what you just said have anything to do with what I just said? It's free license. I don't think it is. It gave you free license. Who did? Meaning, who gave me free license? What were we just talking about? You tell me. You're the one telling me. I said something about free license. I don't know. Did you? I said it doesn't give you free license. Who said that? I did. When to draw longer? Remember? When did you say that? Just a minute ago. I don't remember that. Jeff Perry said Cunningham. Richie? <laughs> Draco said, crap, I may get to see the finished drawing tonight. Oh, well, if you tune out now, yeah. Hank said, whoa, look at that logo, right? She shines. I say she. He shines. He shines. By the seashore? Right. Are you going to be doing any type of background here, do you think? I don't know yet. Let me get there. At the end, didn't they set her on fire, but then she still survived? Yeah. Am I spoiling it? Is that a spoiler Way alert? Go, ruining it all. And what happened with the kid? He sold it, and, or he set it on fire and thought he, he was went done to with college, it. and then his dad showed up, and him and uh, Robert Downey Jr. hung out for a little while, and then he won the dive championship. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the same kid? No, that's back to school. Right, but isn't it the same actor? That was in Christine, the main mm -hmm. guy? Was it? Cast of the movie Christine. Christine has a cast of 30 actors. Keith Here Gordon? Three. Keith Gordon, Alexandra Paul, and John Stockwell. Is that who played the main kid? I don't know. He Maybe you should look now. it up. Silly goose. Oh, there's a Moochie Wells. Yeah. Not Mookie. Mookie? It's I said Moochie. Mookie. It's Mookie. It's Schmooky Wells. Schmooky Wells. Um, he played Arnie Cunningham. Let's see. Keith Gordon. American actor. He's Jeff Gordon's brother. 
Oh, there he is with Jeff. Kidding. Christine dressed to kill. He wasn't back to school. I oh, know. Really? Okay. You think I'm smart? He looks so different now. He still has that lip, though. He's... Oh, you know what? I don't want to do that. He's almost unrecognizable. Like, in some of these pictures, not good. Huh. I guess he's not doing film anymore. Um, really just popular in the 80s. He did Waking the Dead in 2000. Yeah. So really, that was his, um, that was probably one of his biggest movies, That and Back to School. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm not recognizing any of these other movies. Well, that doesn't mean that no one watched them. You know, you're not the... I'm sorry, are you a fan of Hitchcock? Because he was in that. Did yes. you see that? Was Whatever. A great movie. What year? Uh, 83. Nope, six. You're lying. Well, that was off by a couple of years. All right. It was 2006, babe. 2006 yeah i don't really it says he's active still i i don't see it i don't see it sorry keith gordon not buying it christine was a good one and that would be about the end of it i'm i'd, I'd actually be open to watching this movie so i know what i'm talking about here because I, again like i said i remember the premise i remember bits and pieces but i don't remember the whole thing like the whole plot of it mm -hmm. How it went down. Let's let's hear what you think the plot might be. I just told you earlier what the plot mm -mm. was. He gets his car from people who knew that there was an issue with it, and right. they unloaded it. Right. So he gets it. Right. And then the car was jealous it, of women he was trying to date. Or why would a car be suddenly jealous? Because it had a personality. What? And it wanted to be his number one. What? Yeah. Huh. Right. Crazy. Yeah. The car's crazy. Yeah. Oh, Hank said it's creative license. Mm. What did I say? <laughs> free license. Free license. I think free license is still the thing people say. But yeah, creative license. That's how I like my potatoes. Free license? Free free range. That had nothing to do with it. Um, they said Arnie. Yep. Still got 10 minutes left. Draco said he doesn't go to bed for 10 more minutes. All right. We're trying. We're trying. Jeff Perry said crushed her into a cube. So she got... Set on fire and crushed into a cube and then was still alive. They say everyone is saying the same kid from back to school. Yes. Um, the triple Lindy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like 90 now. No, he's, he is like 60 though. So, you know, depending on where you are in the age. So yeah. buttons on your pants. Could be older, could be younger. Um, Hank said, I wake the dead every morning <laughs> with your stretching. Uh, Nathan Sparkman said, if you don't mind me asking, what tablet and program are you using to draw with? Thanks for asking, Nathan. Go into the notes. Johnny is uh, drawing on a Microsoft Surface Book in a program called Sketchable. It's a, um, it's a free app. However, Johnny does have a paid-for um, upgraded version of it. But uh, Sketchable, go check him out. Tell him Johnny Jalopy sent you. Hey, nice. Nice promo. Right? Right? They said you weren't a pro. Somebody said it. Probably you. Um, Draco said, and then the bad kids destroy it. Hank said, that's chickens, free range, right? Um, Draco said, 60 is the new 90. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying it. I got a little ways to go. Not that um, much farther. Hank said, the shadows under the tires look like snow skis. Jeff Perry said, or it's out by the curb for the scrap guy. That's true. That's true. Snow skis. What is he talking about? Shadows under the tires? That's all right. I don't know. Snow skis. Oh, the white outline? Is that what he's referring to? Could be. Mabes. Now, Russ is saying, da-da, da-da. Maybe that's not. Da-da-da, da-na-don't. I don't know what that means. I don't know how I'm supposed to be saying da, it. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Is that from the movie? No. <laughs> then why are we saying it? We weren't. I Isn't just did. Isn't it the police? No. The goo goo goo, the ga ga ga? It's a totally different song. Is that the police? Sure. That's not what I'm doing. What are you doing? Da, 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 da. You're just making it up as you go along. Uh, of course. Unreal. 
Again, I'm loving the purple that you're putting in here. Why Why did you start doing the purple? Because you didn't I've have I've always it. done purple. No, you have not. If you go back and you look at some of the some other Johnny Jalopy fo- uh, art, purple is something I used to do all the time. Okay. If you say so. I do. As you go... Uh, let's see. Grab the Johnny Five. Boom. Purple in the rims. Barely. Still there. Lou Linder's got to tune out. Good night, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, Draco said he's doing the Volkswagen commercial. Russ Randall said bad to the bone. Oh. da 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 <laughs> How was I supposed to know? That's so funny. I had no reference for that. Jeff Perry said, can you make that piercing sound when the headlights come on? Right. Which one? The piercing noise it makes when the headlights come on. What? What's the noise? It's in the movie, Beth. Right. So do it. Somebody do it. Hank said Zoom Zoom. Kind of busy. Like the Mazda commercial Zoom Zoom? It's a different that's a different make of car. Or is he talking about the fact the Zoom from Friday? Is that what he's referring to? We'll never know. Guys, episode two hundred something. Can you believe it? Here we are with the Christine episode. Super excited. Super excited. Super excited to head into the holiday season where we've got some cool stuff planned, maybe some cool merch, um, cool advancements for the 2021 jalopy calendar. Um, we are hoping that COVID really takes a back seat to the plans that we're going to be making for next year because we're ready to branch out. We were ready to do it this year and we had a plan and it got foiled, I tell you. Foiled. Foilage. Yeah. Um, the McCoy said the girlfriend and Christine ended up on Baywatch. Oh. Um, Draco said still bony after all these years. The girl? Maybe? I don't know. Um, Jeff Perry said the charger. The charger? I don't know what that is. Unless it's a vehicle. Was there another car in the movie? Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm asking. I'm kind of drawing right now. Oh. You have a whole audience you could ask. Draco said curses foiled again. So was there another car in the Christine movie? Because I thought it was just all about the car's obsession with this guy. And then whoever the guy was interested in. Maybe it was in a whole other vehicle. And why do, I, why do I remember this being a convertible? Did it, did it ever? Different movie? Probably a different movie. I have no idea what I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm thinking of um, Ferris Bueller. That was a convertible. That was not even the same kind of car. I know. That was a Ferrari. This is nothing like a Ferrari. Howard Pierpont. You couldn't even accidentally get those mistaken. Howard Pierpont said, enjoy the beanie. How does Johnny look in it? Johnny didn't try it on. She wouldn't let me. Because it's my beanie, I thought. I mean, on the actual oh, now envelope. We, now we really know that maybe it, it was really, addressed to me. Maybe it wasn't really for you. It was addressed to me. That's fine. You can, you know Howard, what? are we supposed to share it? I will, I'll share it if I have to. I don't share. But he doesn't really wear beanies. And I don't share. Right. Jeremy Mullins is tuning in from Australia. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we both said it at the same time. Hank said, in the movie, there was one called Betty. So there was another car. Called Betty. Betty and Christine? Yep. The other one was Al. Um, Draco said very similar body styles in both movies. Okay, thank you. Howard Pierpont said it is for Itty. No share. Yay! Yay me. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm wearing it. And every time I wear it, I'm going to think of Howard now because that was such a generous gift. I didn't even know he was sending it. He actually messaged us and asked for the address. It was a generous gift which oftentimes people do. And I said, oh, um, are you coming by or something like that? And he said he was trying to plan his itinerary. So I'm like, oh, maybe he'll come. And he was trying to map it out. Didn't realize that he had this planned. Right. So I'm so excited. It Sneaky. literally got here in two days. Two days. Yeah. Sneaky. DCCF is joining us from France. Viva, Viva la France. France. Um, hello, everyone. I'm really late tonight. I just woke up. It is okay. Are you late for work? We were concerned earlier because we didn't see you on. So we want to make sure you're okay. Um, Jeff Perry said, I found him. Jeff, you are just a man of discovery tonight. 
Um, Draco said, tapping out, finishing the morning, Scout's Honor. We appreciate you, sir. Thanks for tuning in. Johnny is almost done, contrary to popular belief. Working on it, geez. Um, we are currently at, let me see how many. Oop, we're at an hour and a half. Okay. Well, hour and a half. Working on it. Um, we still have 28 viewers tuning in, even with half of those people signing out because they had to go. Um, Howard said, still planning my trip. Need to sleep. All right, Howard. Have a good night. Thank you again so much for your generosity. I love the hat. I'm wearing it. I will continue to wear it. All, all the, the time. time. Here's what I love. It's knitted, so it's breathable. Right. So it's not super hot on my head, and it's not um, matting my hair to my head, which is nice. So it is nice. I'm loving it. Thank you again. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's the best gift. I love beanies. Love them. And so many different colors, and it matches so many different things. Like tonight I'm wearing a red and black flannel, and it matches. That's, that's how great this thing is. <laughs> Loving it. Hand knitted, he said. Yes, Hand I know. Hand knitted. Again, I hope you didn't give me your only one, and I hope we can be twins. What we need to do is a side-by-side -side shot of the Photo two of us. Photoshop. Huh? Right? Wearing our beanies together. And if you want, you can do like a cool Colorado mountain snow top background. That way I feel like I'm experiencing four seasons when really we just get the one here in Florida. Um, I did hear that it is supposed to be a little cool here, though. This coming weekend, we're supposed to get uh, a night when it's or actually it's um, Halloween night. It's supposed to be 70 degrees. I really? might have to wear my boots. Yeah, huh. I might be doing boot and beanie that night. Well, aren't we all just lucky? I know. Johnny's putting the last little details on this one, guys. Christine from Day 26, Ink October. Ink October. I did it. I did you. I did, did you. It. I did you. Inktober. Uh -huh. um, is there not another month that we could do something fun? What do you mean? Why is it only October that is chosen to be a, a month's worth of stuff? Well, because it's December. Everybody's busy with the holidays. Oops. What about something in the spring? Maybe. Maybe like a... Why don't you plan it? Itty B's drawing extravaganza. Right? Spring fling. Yeah. Why don't you, why don't you plan that? We could. Not we. we. You. Why don't you plan that? I might I might do an Itty B page in 2021. I'm not sure yet. I think you should. Not sure yet. Everyone's Maybe. been asking for it. No one's been asking. You're right. <laughs> um, Movember is coming up. What's Movember? It's where you mow the lawns. March of Robots is in March. Okay. Well, that could, you could do like maybe Transformers more than meets the eye. You could do Transformers. Those are robots. Who Who's going to do that? People could do Transformers. Sure, people can do that on their own. They're cars. Um, Jeff Perry said Bike Week. We could do, that would be cool. During bike week to do bikes. You don't do a ton of bikes. Right. I think that would be neat to have some bikes under your belt. B&Bs. Um, Bob McLaren said jalopy July. Hmm. Maybe a little summer summer deal. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Wouldn't that be cool if that caught on? Sure. Um, Hank Dutton said Movember is when you don't shave for the entire month. Is it? I thought it was where you watched a bunch of Three Stooges movies. I th I thought I thought it was no shave November, and that's what we're heading towards, right? That's what Isn't it no shave? So I, he's calling it. I already it, live there. It, you do, but if you didn't shave like the rest of your face, you'd be grizzly. You'd be a grizzly bear. Did the original Christine have yellow windows, or is that the just the jalopy signature window? Why would a, a regular does your car have yellow windows? No. Ooh, the McCoys came up with a good one. Sketchuary. Hmm. Now, would that be January or February? I want to say February would be sketchuary. Jeff Perry said, see, now we back to the shave and shower again. <laughs> it all circles back, Jeff. It all circles around. This one does look Why really cool. Why is it cool. racing? Super cool. Digging it. 
I do see the fin back behind that tire, so it's still there. Not as pronounced, perhaps, as maybe the Ridge. If you look how cut down that body is, that fin is still pretty darn tall. It is tall. It is tall. In comparison. Guys, you can own this one. 15 bucks. Um, we've had a we've had a lot of uh, interest in the movie cars that Johnny's done, and we are ready to send this one to you. 11 by 17, full color, just like you see it. You watched him draw it. Now you can have it. Hit me up on um, email, LLC at gmail.com, or go to the website and click the link. It'll bring you right to our email where you can place the order. Um, we bill through PayPal, which has been great. It's worked so well for us, and hopefully it's been working well for all of you. Um, super easy to use. So Jeff Perry said, I said it before the show, take my money. <laughs> Email me, sir, and we will get you invoiced, and we'll get this one out to you. Like I said, we do have some orders going out this week, so um, anything ordered tonight and filled tonight and paid by probably tomorrow afternoon will get, uh, will be part of that shipment. So another great one. And this, this marks the last probably live drawing for Inktober, unless you plan to do something towards the end of maybe this week or on the weekend, if you do a quick snippet of what you're working on to finish out the month. But I know we've, we've got a lot going on over here and, um, birthday coming up for my son. My dad's in town. My sister's coming, coming in. So I don't know how much extra free time you're really going to have to do a lot of sketching, but hopefully you can at least get a couple more in before the end of the month, round it out. But thanks to everybody who participated. It's been great to watch. Thank you for including me in the page this year. Cause I don't think I was part of the page last year, but, um, even though I haven't drawn anything, it's been fun to watch what everybody else has done. Super talent guys. Likes and loves on this one. I think he's going to be ready to call it here in a minute. Just doing his little finishing touches. This is usually when I like to say less is more. Right? Sure. Um, Hank said, uh, make a list up to the McCoys for Sketchuary. Right? It would be fun. Uh, Frank Pupella said, good job. He's digging it. Um, thanks to everyone too who shares the live video, whether yeah. you whether you do it while we're in the process of taping the live video or recording the live video, or whether you share it after the fact. We're still getting some exposure here for Johnny, so people can see what he's doing and pick up some cool merch if they would like. So, what day is it? The twenty sixth, ten twenty six, twenty twenty. There we go. Did you label it episode 200-ish? No. Oh. Hmm. I'm coming around. There you go, Christine. Jalapa style. She's pretty cool. Right? Yeah. No one driving, but still on the gas. Oh, no one driving. I didn't even realize. You should have had just the gear shift sticking out the top for no reason. Oh, gear shift would have been cool. Yeah. Next time, next why, time. Why didn't I think of that? I don't know. Hmm. Slacking. It's on the brains behind it all. There you go, guys. Episode 200-ish. <laughs> Sketchy <laughs> Live. Yeah, thanks for joining us. <coughs> Every Monday night at 930. And well, there you go. We Another Monday night in the books. Look at the beanie. Right? Pretty cool. Isn't it cool? I love it. Yikes. What do you mean? Look at it. Hey, if you get a chance, head up johnnyjalopi.com. I know we talked about it almost the whole episode, but, you know, that's what uh, puts the bread in the belly. <laughs> Got some cool stuff. Hats. Stickers. T-shirts. Not beanies yet, but you I never know. know. You never know because I am down. John, believe you. Somebody was asking for long sleeve shirts. I know. Because we're heading into winter. Yep. So we'll be looking into maybe some winter gear as well. But uh, we sure appreciate you guys hanging out. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a super week and stay sketchy. We'll see you guys next Monday. Bye! Bye.